What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jesse Warden here. I'm gonna teach you unit testing. We're gonna use Mocha and Chai. We're gonna get you set up tonight with the environment and write a basic test, and then we'll start coding code tomorrow. So I am assuming that you've already installed Node.js. Either install Node.js from the website, or install MVM.js. You can find Node by just going to Google, type in Node.js, and it'll probably be the first link. Either download the latest or current, if you're scared, download the LTS. They're both okay. I like the latest greatest because I'm cray. like the new toys. If you have time, I encourage you to check out NVM. It is a way to install multiple versions on your machine. I know the instructions are quite intimidating. However, if you're on a Mac, you just run this and then just this. You'll know if you type in node. You see that where it just goes to terminal and you're like, uh, console.log you. Hello. Very similar to what you do in the browser. So we'll hit Control C twice to get out of that. So we know we're good in terminal. Let's create two files here. We're going to do index.js. That is where our code is going to be. And we're going to create one more called index.test.js. And this is where our unit tests will be. But we're not going to focus today on the code. We're going to start writing tests. So let's do our setup first. To do any JavaScript project, you have to have most likely a package JSON. If you don't know what that is, go check out my package JSON video. It tells you all about it. For now, we're going to go npm init. By the way, npm comes with Node, so if you install Node, you get Node, and you get npm, which is Node Package Manager. We're going to do npm init dash y, which just means hey, create me a package JSON and say yes to everything. So it gives you a basic package JSON. If you look over here, it created that file right here for you. The second thing is the test that it gives you by default does nothing. So we're going to go mocha index test.js. That means, hey, when I run the test command, run these unit tests with mocha. Mocha is a test runner. It runs your unit test. It knows how to handle unit tests and deal with them and report on them and all kinds of other good stuff. But to do that, we have to install it. So we're going to say npm install. Close this real quick. Mocha space and chai. Mocha is the test runner. Chai gives us some really nice ways of asserting things. So we can say expect and should and this thing should be equal and basically words that look like English but they're actually written as JavaScript properties and or functions. It makes it easier to work with. So we say dash dash save dash dev. We do want lodash to help us do some predicates so we're going to use dash dash save. So to set up our unit test we now have got our commands good. We've got our libraries installed. Let's write some code. Say log, console.log, so we can be lazy and write just log. And yes, unit tests are code like anything else. So you're going to use log to debug things, not just breakpoints, if that's your thing. And we're going to import two assertion libraries. We're going to import first expect from the nodes chai dot inspect. The other one we're going to do is should. I like should. Some people like expect. I don't really care what you use. As long as you're unit testing, Jesse Warden's happy. Now, should, you actually have to invoke like this. It's kind of weird. But either way, expect and should. Either one. They both work. And we'll import Lodash just because we'll need him in a future lesson. To make sure you did everything correctly, let's just go node index.js. If you see no errors, your file was successfully imported and parsed. It might not do anything, and that's okay. It means, it means that it found the file and imported it. It looked legit. Node is happy. Do the same thing with our unit test. Are you happy with what we've written, Node? Are you okay? Yes, he is. That means he found the libraries, parsed everything. Everything's good to go. And if you're curious, you can just say, hey, log, uh, what's up, man? Save it. Rerun it. There you go. So you know it's working. Fantastic. The way you write unit test is a syntax called describe, and you nest its, or unit tests, inside of it. They're strictly just for printing. They don't read too much into it or get intimidated. They're just to print things. So we'll say describe mocha basics. And the first parameter is the name you want printed out to the screen. The second is a function that runs and holds all your unit tests. So your unit tests are here, man. So we're going to write some. They all start with it. And I'll explain why it's called it in a minute. True should be true. Second parameter is the function that runs your unit test. And over time, you'll start grouping all your unit tests by what they do in these describes. And each finite little assertion you're making or thing you're testing in isolation will be in these its or unit tests. People call them specs. 
The rest of the world calls them unit tests. So we'll say true should be true. And that's it. That's your first unit test. To run it, you would normally go mocha index test.js, but because we don't install mocha globally in Node, we're going to use our clever package JSON script that we wrote. And since it installed Mocha, it knows what Mocha is. It's right in the node modules file, so it can find it for us. So we'll run npm test. It'll run Mocha on this file. And there you go. That's your first unit test. And you can see how the describe kind of prints in white here. On some terminals, it's slightly a different color. And then the its are always indented off to the right. And if they work, they show a green check mark. If they fail, let's make this one fail. They'll show usually which one's passed and which one failed. In this case, this particular one failed. So if you turn it back to passing, I expect true to be true. We're going to write the exact same unit test, but using the expect syntax. So I'm going to say expect true to be true. Semicolon or not, up to you. Now you see we have two unit tests, both of them pass, and they're kind of indented to this mocha here, right? So if we create another describe, it would actually start indenting there. So it makes it easier to read. It's really up to you. And so you read it, mocha basics, true should be true, and I expect true to be true. These are the mocha basics. That is your first unit test. Congratulations.